Hi, it's Panda Movies here. Today, I'm going to explain the Black Mirror episode called Black Museum. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Enjoy the video. Nish finds herself visiting a remote black museum at a filling station in the middle of nowhere. Nish is welcomed by Rollo Haynes, the proprietor who explains the backstories to the museum's crime-related artifacts, starting with a hairnet device. Rollo reveals that he was once involved in recruiting people for an experimental medical technology that they were developing. In a flashback, a promising physician, Dr. Peter Dawson, agrees to test an implant that would allow him to feel the physical sensations that patients were feeling using the hairnet. It was initially successful, he learned to diagnose the patients quickly and even used it to spice up his personal life, letting his girlfriend wear the hairnet while having sex so he may be able to feel her orgasm as well. However, the success did not last long when a politician was sent to the earth for unknown reasons, Dawson tried to figure out what was wrong, but the man was very close to dying. The politician dies while still wearing the hairnet, Dawson blacked out. When he regained his consciousness, it was as if nothing happened, but not until he went to check other patients, he realized that he is aroused by his patient's pain. He grew addicted to it, and he started self-injuring, and later murdered a homeless man, which caused him to fall into a coma. Back in the present, the air conditioner in the museum is broken, and Rollo starts to sweat. Nish offers him a bottle of water which he gladly accepts. They move on to another artifact which happens to be a normal toy monkey. Rollo explains that it was a result of another one of his medical experiments, wherein he was able to convince Jack to transfer the consciousness of his comatose wife, Carrie, into part of his brain, so she could experience physical sensations and communicate with him and their son. While it was effective at first, Jack and Carrie began to feel aggravated by their lack of privacy and agency. It was taking a toll on Jack, so Rollo offered him the ability to pause Carrie. It took him several months to finally unpause Carrie, and they eventually agreed for her to be unpaused on weekends only. Jack began dating Emily, who wanted Carrie to be deleted. Rollo transferred Carrie to the toy monkey, which could feel sensations and say two phrases. Carrie and Jack's son Parker was soon bored by it. The monkey technology eventually became illegal, so Rollo was fired. Nish and Rollo finally reached the centerpiece of the museum. It is a holographic Clayton Lee, a man accused of murder and was sentenced to death by it. Rollo insists that Clayton was guilty of murder, but Nish reminds him of conflicting evidence. Rollo recalls that while on death row, Clayton signed up to his exhibit. What Clayton was not aware of however was that he would be used for visitors' amusement. When a visitor pulls a lever, a conscious hologram of Clayton receives the electric chair, and a souvenir copy of him experiencing electrocution is made. The exhibit was immensely popular. As Rollo begins to asphyxiate, Nish continues the story, revealing herself as Clayton's daughter. After public protests, attendants to the exhibit dwindled to sadists and wealthy white supremacists, who left Clayton's hologram in a vegetative state. His wife and Nish's mother Angelica overdosed the day after she saw him. As revenge, Nish sabotaged the air conditioner and gave Rollo poisoned water. Nish expertly transfers Rollo's consciousness into Clayton's hologram, then electrocutes it, which creates a souvenir of Rollo's suffering. Nish takes Carrie with her and sets the museum on fire. She converses with her mother, whose consciousness is inside her head, like Carrie's was with Jack.